I just put it in my head, and pull the trigger, no chickening out. Thank you. 
welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Who's there? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Wait! <gasps> The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. Well, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Huh? What contract? Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sanpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Okay, then let's go.
We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now! Morning! Morning! Well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukan High! You're gonna love it here! You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Me? I don't know, I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you later! Are you the new student? 11th grade, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year, I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means Hey, you came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. 
Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. What's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, come on. Let me introduce myself, at least. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt! What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey, you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? Don't tell me you forgot already! Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? What? Uh, last night? Wait a minute! Don't get the wrong idea! Listen! I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. Welcome back.
I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. He's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki? <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw something strange. Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Do you have another question? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akahiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to his lame jokes. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. <sighs> this sucks. KJ Radio presents The Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kiricho Electronics. Kiricho Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. to me <laughs> hmm 
Hmm, he's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this, till we meet again. I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. But of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Welcome back.
How is he? The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, but this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Hurry, downstairs! We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this. Just in case. Okay, let's go. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. What was that? It's getting closer! Keep moving! Hurry! <sighs> the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. You gotta be kidding me! I climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait! That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here it goes. What's that?
Is it over? Ah, it's still moving! No! Get away from me! Are you okay? Oh, come on! Please! Can you hear me? Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please, remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Thank goodness you finally came too. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power... It was amazing. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Really? But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. 
I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Bye! Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people aren't aware of, but the dark hour does exist. It occurs each night at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users, which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Uh, don't think too much. Just hang out with us for a while. Please. We need your help. Wait, you can't ask him like that. Who could say no? I mean, it'd be nice if he joined, but...
Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. A holdup? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but, man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Didn't he tell you? Man, every Persona user should know that. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. 
Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. Uh, you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. L labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. Whoa, it's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Uh... You're in charge. But, but wait, wait, why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. 
And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce, but please come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? <laughs> Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? Takeda has informed me. Would you like? Okay. Time for me. Do you want to? The enemy. Yes! The enemy is vulnerable. Nice. Attack! You struck the enemy's weak Here's point. Here's a chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a.
able to if you didn't know would you like an enemy this will and other you can and if you which me this however you can't now so don't got it then <laughs> a wisely chosen attack nice <laughs> You exploited the enemy's weakness. You attacked the enemy's weak. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a. There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to if you can perform it. When enemies are and all of your weather, but remember, so if you want, that's all, then shut their make this back. You struck the enemy's weak point. You attacked the enemy's weak point. One more! The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. You struck the enemy's weak Here's point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Okay. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. But damn, I'm beat. <laughs> that's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that.
That next, we'll hear a word from the Student Council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So, she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. There's like some kind of aura around her. Besides, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? As I begin my term as Student Council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives to accommodate this lofty goal. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. To imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. I'm certain that many of you have your own visions of the future. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, your participation, ideas, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang, that was freaking amazing. So, do you have any idea what you just said? Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off.
Have you noticed how popular Akihiko-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I didn't used to talk to him much, but now I've got a good excuse. I know, he's the captain of the boxing team, but who would have thought he'd be such a chick magnet? I mean, come on. You don't even see girls flock like that on TV. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Huh? Who, us? Hell yeah! What you got in mind? I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be at the police station. See you there. The... the police station? You mean we're not hanging out with your friends? Who, these girls? I don't even know their names. They talk so much they give me a headache. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Don't keep me waiting. <laughs>